Whenever there's a disaster, and of course this social unrest, the war um, represents you know, the biggest and perhaps the worst disaster that could be, um, we tend to think of things in terms of three S's, um, staff, stuff, and space. When there's a disruption in those, um, those supplies, it's almost impossible at times to provide the level of care that people are used to and um, that people need not only from the perspective of them being affected by the conflict, but just managing their chronic health issues. There is a mass exodus of, uh, of the population, which um, would mean that there's a mass exodus of the healthcare workers as well. I feel for the healthcare providers having been in that situation um, because you, you can feel quite impotent, um, you know, especially when you don't have access to life-saving treatments and um, you know what to do and you can't do it. Um, that's, that's really hard. Um, that, makes, that makes you feel um, like you're not doing everything you could. One of the things that I think we're probably going to uh, hear about is, um, is physicians that are put in a position to care for physicians and other healthcare providers, nurses, put in a position to care for traumatic wounds um, uh, and blast injuries and things that are seen only in these, um, you know, in these terrible um, conflict situations. People do rise to the occasion, and um, and uh, I think they provide good can provide good care if they have access to to information and, and supplies. Um, but that, of course, is also going to be limited as time goes goes by.